So let me go back into like racing mode. Oh fuck, okay. <laughs> Yo, that's dope as hell, guys. I highly recommend this. Alright, so what's up, y'all? So today I'm pretty much gonna go ahead and be doing a review. Well, a review slash unboxing of this, which is like a throttle control type of thing for like the Audi A5. Um, what I have seen is just other like things like this, which is pretty much like pedal, com uh, pedal commander and what is the other one, sprint booster and stuff like that. There's also one by Burger uh, Motorsports. They go ahead and do this stuff. But I went ahead and saw this one like on eBay. I believe it was like 50 bucks around there. So I was like, why not give it a shot compared to the other ones, which are like 400, 300 dollars. So pretty much a very, 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 very small percentage of that pricing. So I wanted to just go ahead and give it a shot. If it doesn't work, I'll just go ahead and return it. I want to go ahead and get into the unboxing of this and pretty much show you guys what it looks like and what you get in it and see if it works in the Audi A5. And pretty much after this, I'll go ahead and do some pulls and stuff like that so you can pretty much see. So first things first, it comes in a little box. Um, nothing special. It's just like a little white box. Um, it pretty much, it, it's actually really okay for like 50 bucks. I thought it was going to be a lot cheaper. I thought it was going to come like in a little plastic bag or something like that. So coming like this, it has like a some, you know, some fake car, probably Ferrari or something. But um, you open it up and it's like a little small brick looking thing. It's super tiny. It's like, it's, it's really small. Um, pretty much um, it's by ITAR. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but it's super small. Uh, it has a plug in here. It's pretty much the same plug in as like an iPhone uh, charger, so that's pretty weird. But, um, and then sticky tape on the back, and I'll get to this in a little bit. So, when you open up the box, um, you open it up, and here comes pretty much everything. So, the reason why I went ahead and did it is I pretty much thought the same ideology of the other ones might have the same thing, they might do the same thing. So, pretty much, you plug it into your pedal, it's because on the Audi A5s and stuff like that, it's it's controlled not by a wire, it's pretty much all electronic. So sometimes that throttle body uh, flap doesn't open as fast as it should, so it takes a while to open. So pretty much my idea was like, pretty much they all should do the same thing. It's just a different current or I don't know how exactly it works. I'm not a, you know, I don't know how it should work, but I thought, hey, maybe the current runs in this will go ahead and control it a little bit faster and make that flap open a lot quicker so they all should do the same thing is my ideology of things so well, i'm going to see if it actually works you know if it works then why spend the 300 400 dollars you know so this is pretty much how it comes in you plug this into one part of the your your pedal and then the other one goes in there and then this part goes into this little uh, adapter where you can control it and pretty much it comes with all the speed and stuff like that so that's just a quick unboxing of how it comes and I'll go ahead and do the video of me installing it all right y'all so pretty much what I'm doing currently is removing the bolts from under here so I can pretty much get to the plug for the pedal I'm currently removed four bolts there's one right here two right there and there's one in the, over here um, there's also one behind this so just go ahead and pop this off and pretty much I'll go ahead and pretty much show you if there's any other bolts but currently four and another one right here, so five. So then it's this bottom bolt right here. And what you're gonna do after that is just pull and everything should start popping off. So for this side, it's a little bit tricky. Um, you're gonna wanna pull down from the back first, try to push that down and then the top will kind of slide out as well. So don't try to force it, just try to go ahead and wiggle it out. It don't pull hard because if not, you might break some clips or anything like that. Everything should slide out pretty easily, pretty much. You shouldn't have to break anything or pull hard on anything. Everything will literally just like fall down pretty peacefully. But pretty much go ahead and lay this down right there. You should be fine. There shouldn't be any cords or anything like that being tugged or pulled. Just go ahead and lay it down to the side so you can go ahead and pretty much work on what you need to over here. All right, and now that um, pretty much, how I go ahead and show it. So that red clip, um, you pull on it and it, it'll pop out and then you press on it and it'll sh it'll pop right off. As you can see here, this is pretty bulletproof. One of these clips goes into the pedal, one will go into the plug. So pretty much if you can't fit it into the pedal, try the other one. So, I, cause it's, it's gonna be pretty hard to show you with just one hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know. One goes into one, the other one goes into the other. It's pretty bulletproof. And as you can see, I went ahead and plugged it in. Like it's the same, honestly the same clips. I'm surprised as this, it got this far because I thought this wasn't gonna work because I thought the clips weren't gonna work because I was gonna be like 50 bucks from eBay, 
Nah, this thing ain't even gonna pull again. I thought the video would be over by now. So that the fact that they went in, it's already <laughs> like a crazy thing to me already. But let's go ahead and see if it works. I'm just gonna go ahead and run this cord. Um, try to run it through here and try to pull it up through here somewhere on the top. One thing to check out for though is make sure nothing's blocking your brake. Like pump it, you should be able to pump it still. Make sure that this isn't in the way or anything like that. Um, this is to the side and all that just so nothing's in the brake. You know, the way of the brake or the steering. So just make sure of that. Um, one thing I did want to show you guys is before you tuck everything in, uh, decide where you want to put your little screen thing. So you can pretty much run that much wire so you can tuck everything else. I'm going to go ahead and put it up here where it's kind of hidden-ish. Um, I know where it's at and I can play with it from right here. So that should be fine from there. Um, so I can just go ahead and put everything away. Other than that, it's pretty like minuscule. You can go ahead and unplug this if you want. And nobody will know that it's there. It's pretty much sticky taped on there. You can go ahead and pull it, push, pull it back off. Honestly, Oop, there. see? It's not the greatest sticky tape, but... Um, you can go ahead and pull everything back off. And last but not least guys, pretty much just go ahead and pull everything back up. Um, pretty much put everything, tighten it back up. So this doesn't fall while you're driving or anything like that. Just go ahead and make sure everything's tucked in as well. And everything's good to go. Like nothing's loose. Everything's good. Everything looks back to stock. Besides that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car on. Oh, just like that. And see how it goes. So. Econ, focus on city, sport, sport plus, and racing, and then off. So pretty much you can go through all those steps, uh, pretty much play with them, see what you like. But as for the install and stuff like that, super simple, really easy, everything plugged in, super easy. So, so I'm going to go ahead and go into off and see what the pedal feels like currently. Cause I should be able to feel what it feels like if it's so all right uh econ what the fuck does that do oh and also you can control them so you there's a plus and a minus on so you can pretty much control all that but let's go to sport uh, racing yeah I could feel that like as soon as I press the gas like it's it's already jumping. It's off. So that's me barely pressing the gas. Let's go to racing. Oh yeah, yeah, that feels different. All right then, let's go ahead and go and drive real quick. I'm just gonna do a couple. I'm just gonna do a couple pulls and then just like throttles on it. I'm not really gonna like launch it because I'm just testing it out. I don't wanna break it or anything like that. I just wanna f get a feel for it. So let's go ahead and just go on a quick drive. See what it does. Oh shit, okay. Oh fuck, okay. <laughs> uh, guys, <laughs> that shit already feels like, I know this doesn't gain horsepower, but like, holy shit. Like, I can feel like it going, it wants to go. Like, as soon as you press the gas, like oh okay like I feel like I'm learning my pedals again like, I just bought a car and I'm learning my car all over again that's so fucking weird like if you if you okay yeah like it goes no that's fucking weird dude <laughs> that's, uh, it sounds like I'm really like really like surprised but I really am because like that's that's weird dude like what the hell like it's just so weird that like it does what I want it to do now like it's a real pedal like it goes when you press the gas it's no longer that that uh, it just it feels like the car just goes up like instantaneously. Like you're not getting any horsepower from this, but you're pretty much using the power that you have immediately now. You know, it, it feels like before like there was like turbo lag, but it wasn't your turbo. Your turbo is doing good and you're boosting and all that. But pretty much your pedal was so limited because it would take so long to open that butterfly valve would take so long to open that it just felt like your car was super slow when it really wasn't. Like I'm gonna let this car go, but like, 
damn that's that's surprising honestly guys that's crazy that's definitely like i feel like the front of my car just like lifts up now i mean it's not any faster but it feels like well you know what i actually that was pretty faster like i felt like it like it just goes because it's pretty much opening up full like why you know it's wide open throttle now instead of like it gradually opening guys 50 60 bucks that's insane that's insane yeah i'm like really at like i'm, I'm in shock right now that this shit actually worked because i was not expecting it to i thought i was gonna have to return it and buy like a like like actual pedal commander or something like that oh that's dope that's oh see I barely touched it and like this thing wants to jump into the next gear already and usually you have to press all the way down and like hear a click for it to do that but that's weird yo that's oh fuck okay <laughs> what the fuck I'm in like manual mode and it usually doesn't do that jump like that fast that's so weird what the fuck man Guys, I'm honestly surprised. If it sounds like I'm super surprised, it's because I am. Because this is the first time I ever feel my car like this. And I'm not like... Like, this is me actually, like, testing it out. Like, you know, in time. Because I usually test stuff out. And then, like, I make the video. But this is my actual reaction on it. And it looks like I don't know how to drive my car. Because, like, I'm learning how to use the gas on this thing. That's insane, guys. Like, this thing is dope. That's fucking crazy. I'm going to go back into off all right so i turned it off let's see what that feels like again you know what let's go this way yeah that's what i'm used to yeah i'm not fucking doing that anymore <laughs> that's so weird dude like it feels so laggy like like if i'm this one i'm used to yeah like pressing the gas i'm pressing it it kind of goes but it takes a while like it feels like it takes a while i'm gonna make other videos on this because this thing's fucking dope i'm gonna do launches and stuff like that or like races and see how, what it's like but guys like my honest review on this super easy to install like it works like it honestly works like i'm surprised i'm gonna have other people test it out as well so you guys don't think i'm lying about it but this thing's dope like it works yeah that's all i gotta say all right, guys, so if you guys like the video, um, let me know. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. It does help out um, so much. And thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. All right, peace. I'm going to go enjoy my fucking car. So if you're feeling like any lag on your car, I would highly recommend this thing. Like, this thing's just dope. Like, it sold me. The first minute I pressed the gas, I was like, oh, yeah, this thing's definitely going to work. So if you guys have an Audi A5, um, A4, anything like that, I believe they sell some for the S5 and stuff like that because those are also pretty much, you know, it's limited to what it can do just due to it not being pretty much cable. It's electronic and pretty much Audi does, you know, tame it quite a bit. So even if you have an S Sport or anything like that, I would recommend still getting it. It's going to make a world of difference, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and make more videos on it so you guys can go ahead and see what it's like. So pretty much it's just not my testimony, it's other people's as well. Highly recommend. I'll put the link down below.